Welcome to Sandra Sensations. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to be trying a Radical Bloom. It's inspired by Kathy Miller and it's paint pouring by Kathy Miller is her channel. She does awesome. She does the stained glass technique as well which is really cool. If you haven't checked her out please go to her channel and check her out because she's just an excellent teacher. So I'm going to give this a whirl. Like her husband Phil calls it she calls it a radical bloom. He calls it a uh, radial bloom. So <laughs> I don't know. This is going to be a Sandra Twist bloom. How about that? I don't know how it's going to turn out. I've got my Lazy Susan with my canvas here. This is a 12 by 12. I have my thumbtacks on the bottom here, kind of keeping my canvas from moving. It slides a little bit, so if I want to tilt it or pull it off, I can. But it, it holds pretty good this way. I've got the white acrylic down. Now all my paints are 40% Arteza acrylic and there should be a picture coming up right about now of the colors I'm going to be using. They're all mixed 40% acrylic to 60% Floetrol. I've used no water and my cell activator is my white acrylic with a little bit of silicone that I'll be putting down before I start blowing out all the paint and stuff like that. So all the paint's going down right now. No silicone, no water, just full trawl and acrylic paint. I'm just going to give it a quick little torch. Now if you see any of the tools that I use here, I get most of it from Amazon. There is links in my description if you decide you want to check something out. Feel free to click my link. And if you do decide to buy something, I'll get a tiny commission on a gift card from Amazon to replenish some of my stock. Okay, let's start doing this. I'm going to first put down purples in the middle. So I don't remember exactly what colors these are, but I think this is Arteza's uh, Pale Violet, I think it's called. It's going to go in the middle. That's pretty good for the size of canvas. And then I've got my Treasures Gold. I don't think this was actually shown in my picture, but this is Treasures Gold by Folk Art. And it is the, let me just grab it here. No, that's not the Treasures Gold. What is this? This is going to be Deco Art's Amethyst Metallic. It's going to go right in the center here. Just in a couple of different spots. Not a full puddle, just to add a little bit of accent. Okay, so I've got Payne's Gray. I'm going to do a puddle right here. And a puddle right here. Now I've just guesstimated the center. This is could be more to the left, more to the right. It's just a guesstimate. We're going to be spinning the paint so it's not going to matter. Okay, now let's do some red. Go right here. And right here. Okay, let's get some green down there. Green? No, I'm going to go with yellow. Yeah, I'm feeling like yellow is my one. Yellow. Now this is my first attempt at this. Let's hope I do Kathy Miller proud here. I'm going to put some gold there. There. And we're going to go right here too. Okay. 
Okay. Now the green I have not put on here yet, so I'm just going to do a couple of little dots, basically, of the green in a couple of areas here. There we go. Now if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And everybody that keeps coming back, thank you so much. Love all the comments, all the thumbs up. It really does mean the world to me, so thank you. Keep them coming, okay? Okay, one more dot of green right here, I think. Yeah. Now I think I'm going to do a little bit of yellow. I'm just going to use my stick because I really don't want a huge amount. I know if you watch Kathleen and Phil, Phil made a huge mess with the stick, so. I'm learning from him not to get too crazy. Okay. Now let's put my white down. Right in the center here. Should be plenty. Now let's see if I learned anything. Let's give this a whirl. I'm going to make a little bit of noise with the blow dryer. back on here. I'm just going to use my airbrush too. One of my favorite tools that I have is my airbrush. I get this off of Amazon. It was the best $60 I ever spent. If you ever want to treat yourself to something for doing these art projects, cordless airbrush is the way to go. I don't have any paint or anything in here. There's nothing in there. It's just for air. Love this tool. Much better than using a straw. Oop, got a little bit of something in my paint here. Hold on one sec. Must have been stuck to my airbrush or something. Okay. I think I'm ready to give this a spin. Let's see what happens. Okay, one, two, three, here we go. Sorry if you get dizzy, you guys. Stay with me. That wasn't a very good spin. I might have to do that again. There's paint barely moving here. Oh. 
Okay, what I'm going to do is pick this guy up and tilt it a bit because it's definitely off center. Let's give it a little help here and then I'll give it another spin. The cool colors on here though. Okay. Now I know I've stretched my cells out there, but that's okay. I'm going to give it a good spin here. There we go. Oh, very pretty. The center definitely needs some assistance here. I'm going to grab my plastic chopstick here. I'm just going to do a little bit of wrecking here. Bring some color through to the center and give it another spin. Now I'm going to put a little bit, whoops, I think I'm going to go with a little bit of red and a little bit of yellow. Just a dot. Might be a little bit too much yellow, but that's okay. A little bit of my cell activator. I'm just going to give that a blow out. Just because I'm not crazy about what's happening in the center here. Let's make something happen. Okay. Well, let's give this a spin again. One, two, three. Okay, I'm going to lift this, give it a little tilt. I really like these big cells that are coming up. They're really pretty. Okay. I'm just going to give this one more little spin. I think I'm going to go the other way. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to take my little stylus, it's just a little dotting tool, do a couple little lines in here.
different things that I'm seeing. Just about done here. I haven't even given it a torch yet and it looks so cool. This section right here totally looks like leaves. It's very cool. This Payne's Gray is such a pretty color. It's like a, a grayish navy blue kind of coloring. Okay. Now here's some more leaf effect for sure. Okay, where else do I want to add to that? I think we're doing pretty good here. Let's give it a torch and see what it's doing. fix my center a little bit. Let me just grab my painting knife here. Really pretty center here. I'm just going to try and accent it to more like more like a flower. That's what I was going for, so Just gorgeous. Love this so much. Okay, so I think I need a little bit of my green. So I take my stick out of here. And I am gonna go right through here. Wipe my stick off, have a little bit more green. Just to add to my story. There we go. That is one successful masterpiece. Let me just pick it up, give it a quick little tilt for you to see. And there we go. Sandra's twist of a bloom. Radio bloom, I should call it. All right, everybody. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you come back, watch another video. And I'm sure Greg will be putting up a video right now for you to check out. Please stick around, watch another video. Thanks, everyone.